Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new, we are here for a pop-up reading and today's pop-up reading is going to be insight on the person on your mind, what their current thoughts and feelings are about you and your connection. We will also pull some cards on their intentions as well as channeled messages and a message just for you towards the end of the reading, whatever you need to hear the most right now. Uh, this first spread here is talking all about this person's current thoughts and feelings about you. I will tell you right from the start that this is likely to be a separation and no contact reading. This is more than likely somebody you're not currently in communication with, somebody from your past, whether it is an ex or an ex situationship, friend, friend with benefits, whatever it might be. Um, this is a person you're probably not talking to right now. And to the reason that I have come to that conclusion with the cards here is that this person kind of feels abandoned and also like they abandoned you and did not act when they should have. Um, this person kind of has FOMO right now over you. Um, they feel as though it's kind of like their fault. They're blaming themselves for not acting sooner. That's the type of vibe that I'm getting from this. So if that sounds like a situation you are interested in learning more about, then buckle up for the ride because we're going to hop into it, okay? Representing this person's current thoughts and feelings about you, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Strength, the Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. We do have Leo and Scorpio energy is being represented here, so that could be further confirmation that this is your person, if that's in their charts, particularly their top three, their big three, rather, excuse me. Alrighty, anyway, let's hop into it. Um, just to kind of elaborate on what I was saying a moment ago, this person definitely has FOMO. Um, right now, their dominating thoughts and feelings about you and your connection seem to be that they didn't act when they should have. Maybe this person took too long to bring you an offer, or they were playing the field, or for whatever reason, they just did not make a formal move to you, towards you in this connection on time. That's something that they're thinking about. So it could be that maybe you moved on with another connection, or um, you just walked away from them in the situation because you didn't like what was going on between the two of you. Maybe they were playing the field, or they just were in a very flighty and non-committal type of energy. Whatever the situation was for you, this person is taking most of the blame for this connection disintegrating on themselves, okay? And I feel like there was definitely a pretty major walking away type of energy where at least one of you in this connection felt abandoned by the other. Um, I'm getting a ghosting type of scenario. So either you ghosted this person or they ghosted you um, and kind of left the other person out in the cold and confused. And for whatever reason, this person blames themselves for that. Um, could be that maybe you cut them off because they were not committing to you or they weren't being clear with their intentions or they maybe cut you off because they didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know what was going on with them. Whatever the situation was, there's definitely ghosting. There was abandonment here and your person is blaming themselves whether or not they were the ones to ghost you first or whatever the situation was. Um, they kind of look back on the beginning of your connection I feel like they're reminiscing a lot about the past involving you right now, about things that they could have said and done but didn't take action on. They're thinking about, what if I said this sooner? What if I had acted quicker? Maybe um, you would still be in their life. It's giving me that type of energy. And they kind of are in old story, sob story mode over you and your connection at this time. Um, going through all of the different what ifs. What if they had done this differently? What if they had said this? What if they didn't do that? Um, this person is not living in the present moment. They're very much living in the past and thinking about you a lot at this time on what went wrong, what have could, what could have gone better, um, so on and so forth. Um, and it predominantly involves their timing. So could be that this person was dragging you along, they were stringing you along or just taking too long to make an offer or express their feelings to you. Um, because it has something to do with the speed of their expression um, and specifically their emotional expression. They just feel like they took too long. 
they do think about the potential of turning things around with you in the future. I think that they almost fantasize about it or daydream about kind of like coming back into your life, maybe having a do-over or a fresh start or something like that. Um, during the next spread, I'm going to go over their intentions to see if they're actually planning on doing that or not, but they definitely fantasize about it. This person is kind of a daydreamer from what I can see here. I don't know if they're an action taker. Like I said, we'll see during the next spread, um, but they, they kind of get in their head way too much. Um, they daydream, they fantasize. Not all of these fantasies are positive. Again, I think they just like replay things in their head over and over again and they can't stop. Um, and they're taking on a bit of a melancholy attitude while doing this, okay? So let's get out a spread on their current intentions towards you. Let's see what they're actually planning on doing in this connection, if anything at all. What are this person's current intentions, please, towards the viewer? We have the Queen of Cups, that's Cancer energy. This person's intentions, please. Okay, we also have the Five of Wands and the Sun, which is more Leo energy. Talk to me about this person's current intentions, please. The Two of Pentacles, and we also have the Page of Cups. I'm gonna try to make room for one more card here, so let me scooch these over, you guys. Bear with me. And one more card, this person's intentions towards the viewer, please. Okay, um, so I'm gonna be super honest. We're gonna go through everything with you guys. This person is at a crossroads when it comes to their intentions. And since this is a general reading, for some of you out there, they're gonna take this direction. For others of you, they're gonna take that direction. And for some of you out there, this person may even just stay in this crossroads type of energy indefinitely, okay? And the reason I'm saying that is because from what I can see here, and by the way, we also do have death coming out, which is Scorpio again too. I just have to get that out there. Double notes of Leo and Scorpio in this reading, plus cancer. But anyway, this person is basically deciding between coming in with an apology to you, possibly even some type of a, a, a small love gesture or offering, and just letting this connection kind of die out, okay? Um, all together, like letting it go, sealing the deal, uh, never to be revisited again, okay? So we saw in their last, in the last spread with their thoughts and feelings, you know, they're, they're a daydreamer, they're a fantasizer, um, they get in their head about all these different scenarios, and it would make sense that that's being reflected here with their intentions because it's carrying over into their plans, so to speak. They don't really know what they want to do. On the one hand, this person still has feelings for you and they don't like the idea of you being with another person. They also don't like the idea of conflict being unresolved between the two of you. They would like ideally like to reconcile with you and at least like heal the situation, maybe bring some more warmth into it but they just don't know whether or not they're going to be able to do that at this time. They know that they owe you an apology for something for sure. They know that they owe you some sort of conflict resolution, maybe even an explanation as to why they walked away or they let you walk away, uh, but they just don't know and they're kind of in limbo. Again, I think that this person right now is in their head. They're again, fantasizing and daydreaming a bit too much. It might be that this person just for some reason feels like they have to think up every situation under the sun in order for them to actually make a firm decision. And it could even be that they're kind of using that as like a cop out, to be honest with you, where they are like, you know, in their head, they're like, oh, well, I'm not going to come in and try to reconcile or make amends until I have all of my ducks in a row. And I'm going to think of every possibility of what I could say and do before I'm going to make that choice. It's almost like they're making excuses and they're using this daydreamy type of energy to like fulfill that in a way, if you get what I mean here. It's like your person is using it as an excuse to not come forward and just talk to you. 
Um, they want everything to be perfect, but I don't even think that they really care about that. Honestly, I think that your person is just scared to come in and get your reaction or to see what's actually going to happen in reality. It's almost like fantasizing feels safer to them because in their head, they can play out the situation any way that they want it to. It's almost like they can speak for you in their own head. You know, if I say this and do this, then they're going to say this and do that. And it's safer for them to be able to theorize about it than to actually see what's going to happen in reality if they do take this action. So that's kind of where your person is at right now. They do still have feelings for you. They do want to come in. They desire to. They think about it. They plan it. But when it comes to actual action taking, they're still making up their mind on whether or not they're going to do it or kind of just let this die out. Um, but this person is so in their head over you still, it's almost like kind of like a curse to them in a way, like they can't forget you until they come in and actually do this. And I don't know if they've come to that conclusion or not yet on their own. I feel like in a way it's almost like karma or the universe, like, allowing this to happen to them until they actually can decide to make a firm decision. I don't know if this is like a test for them in this lifetime or what, but uh, I don't know. They're just making a conscious choice to not let this go and let things continue to kind of spiral out of control in their head. So let's get out some cards to see what the next chapter actually looks like between the two of you, according to current projections of things. Um, the timeline can always shift. We have free will. You have free will. They have free will. Um, it can always change, but I will read according to current energies what is likely to happen next in this connection. So talk to me about the next chapter here. Let's do like a three by three spiritual team. Okay. Can you clarify that? They might end up getting really jealous and doing something... Um, rash or impulsive okay and it has something to do with conflict or it could even be that maybe this person will see you out and about with like a new lover or a new um potential lover something like that and they might like just like <laughs> like they're, they're showing me a scenario where it's almost like you might be out and about in the world like with your new partner or on a date or something like that and this person might see you and just make a, a rash decision to come in and try to talk to you um that's one scenario that's coming through in the future that they might get a little bit heated like they'll get jealous they'll see something to make them jealous and almost impulsively come in and talk to you because of that it's interesting um, let's get a couple more cards out. Talk to me about the future of this connection, please. According to what's currently going on. Okay. Interesting. Let's get one or two more. One or two more, please. And then one more card, please. One more card. Talk to me about the future of this connection. Okay. So that was message number one. Some additional information about the future of this connection. We have friendship. This connection is based on friendship. It may never develop into romance. Doorway. An opportunity is about to present itself that leads you to another person. And dreams. Look to your dreams. They hold the answers you seek. Okay, so this right here is kind of clarifying this potentially. Like this person might see you out with a new person and they're going to try to open that door again. Maybe come in to try to be your friend um, under false pretenses. Like they might act like they just want to be friends with you, but secretly they do want to come in and try to spark something up again. For others of you out there, um, this person might actually come in and just try to make amends with you and be friends with you in the future with no intention on being romantic with you. Um, I think it's going to be different for everyone. I did just look at the back of the deck for the deck that was underneath this one and I see love call expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you and informing you, okay? So it could even be that maybe this person is going to see you out and about with a new date or with your friends or something like that, um, get a little bit jealous, get a little bit heated, and then call you, 
later. If they don't approach you directly in person, they might call you or something or use that as an excuse to open the door again and say, oh, hey, it's been a while since we've talked. I saw you out and about with so-and-so. Haven't heard from you in a while. How's it going? Like that type of vibe where they might almost use it as an excuse, but secretly they're low-key pretty jealous, okay? Um, pay attention to your dreams. I think you and this person are going to be dreaming about each other more than normal in the coming days, weeks, months, in the future. Dreams are going to be significant. You may even have some sort of prophetic dreams about this person, or they could be having prophetic dreams about you that end up coming true. Like, for example, you might have a dream that you bump into this person at a coffee shop, and then a week later, you actually do, and that's how it all unfolds. So something about your dreams and dream communication is going to be important for at least one of you in the future. Okay, maybe that's one way the two of you already connect and communicate. Um, and so that's confirmation for you right now. Okay, now let's see. What are we going to do next? Um, give me a second, guys. I think we're going to hop into channeled messages. I'm going to take a sip of my water real quick, and then we're going to get some channeled messages out. Alrighty, what would this person have to say right now if they felt like they could be totally open and honest at this time? I can't stop thinking about you. Yup. What did I say? This person's daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Like, they feel, like, borderline tortured over this. Like, they just can't get you out of their head. It's almost like a parasite to them. Like, they just can't let it go. I want you. I hid who I really am from you. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to contact you. What have I been saying? Like, this is definitely more than likely a no contact reading, okay? And they're scared to contact you. That could be why if they bump into you around town or something like that, they're going to use that as an excuse to reach out to you. Because, and I'm going to put that over there just for kicks because of that. Um, it could be that right now your person doesn't know how they could reach out to you. They're afraid to do it. Um, they don't, like, in, in their head they need some type of an excuse or an invite in order to reach out to you. And they don't know what that is right now. Probably because it's been a while since they spoke to you. Or again, they could have ghosted you. You ghosted them. Um, or there was some type of like negative or staticky energy between the two of you the last time you spoke. So they feel like they need a reason or an excuse to actually come in and talk to you. Like they don't have the courage right now to just pick up the phone and give you a call. Um, so in the future, when the two of you like bump into each other or something like that, they are more than likely going to use that as their excuse to come in and actually talk to you. Um, but it seems like they're too scared to just do that on their own right now. And maybe for good reason. I mean, you're welcome to share the story of yours, your situation down below with the collective. Maybe this person did act like a fool to you and you cut them off and they have a valid reason for being afraid to talk to you because they know that they messed up or something. I don't know. We also have, I trusted you. This person could have felt like you betrayed their trust or it could also just be saying that they did just trust you in general and maybe they have difficult time trusting people but they were able to give that part of themselves to you back when the two of you were still communicating more. I don't want to let you go and I don't know what comes next. Exactly. Like I said, this person is spiraling around in circles, round and around and around in their head about all the different things that could happen between the two of you, all the different potentials and possibilities, but they just don't know what's going to come next. And I think that's kind of scary to them. So they're replaying all these different scenarios in their head to like make themselves feel better. And right now, um, fantasy feels better to them than reality does. Okay, reality is scary to this person. But I think in the future, when the two of you bump into each other, it's going to be like a big reality check to them in a way. Actually being able to see your face in person, actually being able to tap into your energy in person is going to like shock them. Okay, let's get out a couple more messages. What else would this person have to say right now if they felt like they could be totally open and honest? Okay, yes, I suppose I probably should have um, invited you guys to do to ask a yes, no question. But um, anyway, if you've had a yes or no question, 
on your mind recently? The answer to that could be yes. Okay, something big is about to happen. Yeah, I really feel like the two of you are about to bump into each other in person in reality or something like that, and you you have no idea that this is coming. Even after this reading, it's still gonna take you by surprise because I feel like it's been a really long time since you've spoken to this person or something. Am I blocked? Could even be that maybe they actually have tried to contact you, but they found out that you blocked their number or something like that. Um, and now they're extra afraid to try to reach out to you because they, they're like, oh no, they don't want to have anything to do with me. Um, so they're like giving you your space or staying away. Maybe bumping into each other is the only way the two of you will actually be able to get back in contact with each other because of that or something. I don't know. We also have someone else has been interfering. So there could have been um, third party interference in this connection, either in the past or currently. Okay. Whether it was like a romantic party or not, there could have been third party interference here. I wish we talked more. Yeah, this person does really miss your communication. They do. Even just as a friend, like this person felt like they could trust in you. They could really confide in you. Um, they miss you being in their life. Okay. And they do genuinely love you and care about you because we have prioritize yourself. Like whether or not this person's in your life, they are hoping that you're living your best life out there, um, that you're taking care of yourself, prioritizing yourself um, and doing what you need to do to take care of you. Right. And then we also have ghosting. OK, so like I said, likely not in contact with this person. And maybe there's still some ghosting going on. I'm getting a lot of those vibes here that one or both of you are currently ghosting each other, okay? Maybe both of you mutually walked away, whatever the situation was. There's a walking away, ghosting, <sighs> yada, 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 you get it. <laughs> like out of breath now, you guys. I'm gonna take one more sip of my water and then we are gonna carry on with the reading. If you've been enjoying it so far and you have not joined the Awakened Soul family, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stick around for more. I am going to be running a new personal reading giveaway contest um, coming up here. By the time this reading posts, it may or may not already be announced on my community page. I am going to be doing another free reading giveaway, and this time it is a members-only reading contest or giveaway contest. I can't talk right now, you guys. So if you want a chance to win a free personal reading with me, all you have to do is be a member to the channel, a part of Awaken Soul Super Fans, and comment on my videos and you will be entered for a chance. And the fun part of this contest, as opposed to the last contest, is that you have a much higher chance of winning a free personal reading with me because there aren't as many channel members as there are subscribers. So Anyway, sip of water and then we are carrying on. Alrighty, what we're going to do next is get out the Zodiac Dice, Childs, and Charms. This is meant to help you confirm who this person is, that this is your reading, so on and so forth, okay? So I'm going to roll the Zodiac Dice. This could be their sun, moon, or rising, or yours, or even an important like anniversary or timeline for this connection. We have Leo. We also have Leo again, okay. Virgo, Virgo again, Taurus, Cancer, and Gemini. Perfect. All right, all right. All right, so let's get out some tiles next. This could spell out their name or initials or yours. Also, important words to the connection Rover, maybe somebody has a dog. Maybe even a dog named Rover. I don't know. Um, we have R-O-V-E-B-Y-O-N. Somebody's name could be Ron. And an A. Okay. So that could be their initials, your initials, so on and so forth. Virginia, Nevada, New York. All right. We might get some more letters out here too from the charms. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. 
No surprise that the broken heart charm came out. This person is clearly broken hearted over this connection and what's happened within it. We have a cross. Maybe this person is praying for you, praying for the connection. Prayer could be important. Maybe both of you or someone in this connection is religious or likes to attend church, could be Christian, so on and so forth. We have a t-shirt with a heart here. To me, that's talking about this person maybe really liking your style. They like the way that you dress, particularly like the shirts that you wear or something. Um, maybe they even gave you one of their shirts or you, um, or vice versa. There's something about clothing that's important, particularly shirts, whether that's them liking your style, you liking their style. Maybe there was a special t-shirt. You guys had matching shirts. I don't know why I'm so like elaborating on that, but it could be important. We also have a lighthouse. This person does feel like they need some kind of guidance right now about you and the connection. We also have like the dark green leaf that makes me think of summertime. So maybe the summertime is important or significant to this connection in some way, shape or form. Like you met each other in the summer or the summer is when the two of you split up or something like that. Okay. What we're gonna do next is get out some messages from the universe for you. This portion of my reading is meant to be just for you, whether it relates to this connection or not. I leave it open for your intuition. And if you're interested in exclusive readings, <coughs> exclusive content, aside from joining our YouTube membership where you do get access to exclusive readings, I do have a Patreon membership as well. And oh, bonus note over on Patreon, you also get access to all of my extended readings. So if you're interested in a YouTube membership and or Patreon, checking that out, that information is going to be down below in the description box. All are welcome and all are invited. It is never too late to start over. You have to trust in the magic of new beginnings. They are waiting for you. Notice them, seize them, and appreciate all that you have. Relax and trust. Don't lose sight of this truth. You came here to evolve and grow, so it is necessary to experience the difficult times. That's when you will grow the most. There is always light at the end of a dark tunnel. And the last thing we're going to do here is split the deck and get you out your emoji, your, excuse me, your affirmation. I was just going to say, if you want to comment and affirm this, you can comment a butterfly emoji. Um, but this is your affirmation of the day. If you also want to claim it, you can just read it aloud with me or listen along. Every dark night must turn into a bright new morning. And that is very true. There's a lot about new beginnings after a difficult time coming through in your messages here today. So maybe some of you out there needed an extra dose of hope involving that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. And until next time, bye for now.